Alright guys, what's going on? It's Shram here, and welcome back to another video I got for you guys today. Today we are playing more Ascension, obviously, continuing this playthrough. I think this is part 4, and we're gonna, you know, just see how far we can get. Not, not too much more to introduce here. We are on round 36. The goal is to get to round 40. So we are only 4 away. We don't have any downs, no revives or anything, obviously. So we're, we're looking pretty good. We're actually looking pretty good, if I'm honest. Unless something really dumb happens, I think we might be able to get the round 40. I think. I really hope we can. You know, it'd be nice if we could actually go farther than that and get to like 50 or something. That'd be pretty cool. But 40 is the benchmark, of course. I think my highest on this entire game is 44. So I would like to try to beat 44. That'd be pretty cool. Just so then I can get a new high score on this game in general. I think I might actually cave and pack a punch my uh, thunder gun soon. But if it's still like a one shot, I mean I still don't really see why. I might start using it a bit more though so I actually you know, run out of ammo. But let's just make sure we have this out. You know, actually I remembered this time. I haven't really had too much of a problem with it so far. But yeah, if you guys didn't know about this spot for some reason, then you know, this is a really good spot to train in. Usually what I do whenever I'm running around to the left here, like if I'm running this side, I don't know, I'll give you guys a bit of a tip. I usually just look at this window right here, just because then you know if a zombie is going to be walking through that door or not. And if there is one coming through that door, you can run rather than just walking. Because it is better just to walk in a train. Because then, you know, if you run, they get all splattered all over the place and everything. And that one zombie landed like down here somewhere, I think. But yeah, a little, little quick zombie tip with Shram, you know? That's going to be my next series. Zombie tip with Shram. See, look, you just saw that guy run by there. And now you know he's going to be there soon. So you got to speed up a little bit just so you get, don't get cornered. I mean, if I do get cornered, it's surely not the end of the world. Because I do have a thunder gun I can just blast at him. But yeah, if yeah, like I'm saying, if you guys did not know about this spot for some reason. If you weren't back in the, in the zombie scene back in like 2011 when this map first came out. And then, you know... You know what's good. You know what's good. Come on, fireworks. Activate. Jesus, that took a while. That took like half a clip. Oh, max ammo. I'll take that. I can finally throw a Gersh device. Let's go. I'll actually throw one. Let's get it. There you go. I'll get sucked into that. I'm going to throw one more when this starts to go crazy. I'm going to throw one more there, and then I'll pick this up. There we go. Look at that. Using this to my fullest. Go get him, Gersh. Gotta love the Gersh device. So, I mean, that does, that does, oh god, I know they'd be right there. But that does um, confirm to me that I did indeed get the Gersh devices. I remember, like, last episode or whatever that was, I th I was pretty positive I got him. You know, I was certain. I, I thought I looked at him well enough, but I also could have been very much mistaken. Oh man, I didn't want to use much of this Widow's Wine. I also don't want to spray this thing too much. I don't really have to. That was pretty dumb of me. Because if I run out of ammo on this, that's pretty much it. I understand. I did just get a max ammo, but... If I run entirely out of ammo, that's pretty much it then. I was kind of close, if I'm honest. That was risky. Another max ammo. Look at this. Look at this. I wonder if I can milk a Gersh device out of this one. That'd be really nice. I'll wait for it to, to go crazy a little bit. We're on round 37. We're getting to round 40, guys. We're getting there. I'll wait for it to go a little bit crazier. There we go. I just saw some zombies coming in, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to wait too long. Look at them. You guys all die. Let's get it. Okay, let's keep going here. Doing well. We're doing really well. But don't you start the easter egg? I'm pretty sure you start the easter egg by lobbing a Gersh device over that way somewhere. I actually don't really remember, to be honest. I've never done this easter egg because, I don't know. I I don't know why I never did this one, to be honest. I just don't think I ever had friends who wanted to. It also wasn't really worth it to me. I think that's probably why I didn't do it. Oh my. I just got so many of my grenades back. I think I just got all my grenades back there. That was nice. That was like six freaking little spider things from Widow's Wine there. That was nice. 
I actually think we might get a max ammo, like, soon. This is ridiculous, because I think we might get one from um, the monkey round. I think the monkey round's kind of soon. Wow. We've been getting pretty fortunate these these past few rounds with max ammos and stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my thunder gun a bit more then, because why not? But yeah, I definitely do hope you guys are enjoying this. I mean, you know, I I've been wanting to play some zombies and upload some zombies for for quite some time, so might as well do it. These guys are out. This gun is amazing. I miss the thunder gun, man. This gun is so good. Man, I miss this gun. I remember there was like a glitch to get this gun on the Black Ops 1 story or something like that, like on the campaign. And I tried so long to get it, but for some reason I just couldn't get it. It wouldn't work. I was getting so frustrated. Like, I'm pretty sure there was actually a glitch to get it, and I'm not just being an idiot. Unless my friends trolled me super hard, because they all said they got it, and I watched a video on how to get it, but that video totally could have been fake. But they were like backing up that video and everything, unless, you know, my friends were just tools back in the day, which is definitely plausible. But, <laughs> might as well just get this. That was a waste of a death machine then, but probably finish off the round, right? Or not. I actually didn't finish off the round. I thought I thought it would, to be honest. I know we're pretty late here, but I still thought it would finish off the round. I could use this for a monkey round. This would be nice. Jesus, die. Alright, that wasn't, that wasn't bad. Good use of the death machine. There's a whole bunch of zombies still coming. I may have to pack a bunch of this soon, just for ammo purposes. Other than that, though, I don't really think I should... I really have to, because this thing is still super powerful. It's still killing, like, entire hordes at this round. Also, I think, like, the uh, like blast furnace and stuff, and fireworks, and all those secondary effects have, like, unlimited damage. I think, right? Like, I don't think that their, their damage ever goes off. Like, I think blast furnace will always kill a zombie. Like, regardless of what of what round it is. I think. Could totally be wrong, but... That definitely helps you getting farther on this map. But all you really need is a thunder gun, honestly. A thunder gun and lucky max ammos is what you need. Like, you can probably solo this map with just a thunder gun. Wouldn't be that smart, obviously, because you might run out of stuff, but... Look at that. Oh, this map is so much easier now that there's, like, secondary effects and everything. Might be a monkey round again. Let me see. I'll start down here. It is a monkey round. I'm probably going to ruin it, though, because I am bad at killing these stupid monkeys. I'm so bad at this. Because the thunder gun doesn't kill him. It just, like, knocks him over. And it's annoying. Let me turn on aim assist for these guys again. I don't know which way they're coming. I never know which way to look. There's one right here. If I can't kill this guy, I'm horrible. There we go. Jesus, I'm bad at this. Look at this. I can't even kill this guy. What the heck is this? Did they take Widow's Wine yet? And they are now. I figured they would soon. I just don't want them to get on Jug. Oh, they're on Quick Revive. Let me get them off Quick Revive. That's more important. I'm going to at least blast them back with this thing. Just in case it was more than one. Jesus Christ, it's like an entire clip. Jeez, he finally died. Just don't take Jug. It took Widow's Wine, which I'm okay with. My lord, I'm bad at this. Which way are they coming? Don't take me Jug. Honestly, I think Quick Revive is more important, just in case it does make you lose one if they take it. So I'd actually much rather have them take Jug, if, that, if that's the case. I just don't know where they are. Where are they coming from? Are they coming to Jug? One's right here. Alright, alright, alright. These guys need to chill. Alright, I hate this freaking... I hate these monkeys. They're so powerful. I don't know why they're so strong. It's because the hit detection is ridiculous on them, I'm telling you. Even with aim assist on, the hit detection is ridiculous. 
And make sure I turn off aim assist, and we are on round 39, guys. I really think we're going to be able to do this and get to round 40. This is looking good. This is looking good. I don't want to be too overly confident, though, because still anything can happen. I can still easily go down on round 39 if, if I'm just stupid like normal. But buy some Widow's Wine again. I've probably bought this perk, like, what? Pretty much every single round since I got the perk. Every single uh, monkey round since I got the perk, I think I've had to buy it. I turned, I turned aim assist off, right? Yeah, it looks like I did. Let me make sure, though. Uh, disabled, disabled, yeah, okay. It just felt like I got aim assist on that one zombie for some reason. Oh, I mean, I guess I never really explained this, but the reason why I don't like playing with aim assist on is just because if you're running a train, especially like this, and you want to, like, shoot back into the horde, it's easier just to turn quickly and go like that rather than, like, getting caught on the aim of, like, half of these guys. Because if you get caught on the aim, that could be really bad. If you get caught on their aim assist, that could be really bad, is what I'm saying. Because, ooh, that was almost bad, too. But the reason for that is because then you can get, like, stuck from the side, and you don't, like, you're not able to, like, move as quickly. Like, I can just, like, snap back really quickly and turn back again and be, like, back on my train. But if I had aim assist on, it would take me forever to come all the way back around again, if that makes sense. Hope that makes sense. I'm sure a lot of you guys don't play with aim assist on. I mean, if you do, then try it with it off. It's actually a lot easier to train with. It's just harder if you're, like, I get... It's not even that much harder if you're camping, because if you zoom in, I feel like you still get a little bit. I don't know. I could totally be wrong, but it seems like you still get a little bit of aim assist when you zoom in. But zombies are also much easier to aim on than people are, like on multiplayer and stuff, so. This is going well. We're getting to, we're getting there. We're actually getting around 40. I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to, even though this map is really easy. I didn't think I was good enough still to get to around 40. I thought I still sucked. Why not, right? Shoot this. What do we get here? Double points and a fire sale. Don't need the fire sale at all. I'll hit it again. Let's see. This is an SVG. I will, uh... I don't know. It was actually an SVG! What in the world? I was gonna say I'll take it. But then I thought about it for a second. I was like, if it's actually an SVG, I don't want to take it. But look at that! It was actually an SVG! Oh my god. I've been getting really lucky this game. Not even gonna lie. With like not with that, but I mean like I got double tap first try of using that Wonder Fist thing. That could have went so much worse. I guess I don't really need double tap anymore because I meant to slide there, not crouch. That was almost really bad. But I guess I don't really need double tap anymore. Because I'm just shooting like once into the train with my uh, Galil at most. I'm not like spraying into it. See, like, I'm just doing that. I could probably get away with getting sleight of hand, but I can't really get rid of double tap now unless I go down, and I'm not I'm not willing to go down just to get sleight of hand. I don't think it's that important. But, I mean, if I ever lose quick revive, then, I mean, I guess I can go get sleight of hand then. Stamina up would be really nice too, but it's not that important. Definitely not that important. I think whenever I play Origins, though, I think I'm going to have to get stamina up. I think it's way too important on that map not to get... This isn't the end of the round, right? I highly doubt it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Didn't think so, but... I think the round's coming to an end, though? I'm not even actually too sure about that one. Looks like they're still spawning all over the place. I think they're still spawning. That's what it looks like. Ooh, this is risky. I thought I was going to get stuck. Good thing I didn't. This is still a one-shot on all of these guys. Like, is there even a reason to pack a punch this thing? I know I say that every time I shoot it, but, like, I thought by, like, round 40 it wouldn't be a one-shot anymore. I mean, I guess we're not around 40 yet. Speaking too soon. Speaking too soon. But I remember this thing not being a one-shot around, like, 35 or something, unless I'm just dumb. Maybe double tap actually does affect this thing with damage. I doubt it, though, right? Because I thought it was, like, your bullets do, like, twice as much damage. Look at that. Round 40. Let's go. We made it to round 40, boys. We got to my goal. Now, if I can actually go and get to round 50, that'd be awesome. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going... It's 420 right now. Let's get it, you know, blaze it. But it's 420 right now. I think I'm going to stop this after one more part. So, probably around, like, 5 o'clock. Because I think by then, I think I have to go. But we got to the goal, guys. We got to round 40. That's exactly where I wanted to get. I think that's a modest goal to get to on zombies. It still looks pretty nice, but it's also only round 40. I only have 30,000 points. I don't even have that much score for getting to round 40. This is crazy, but I think most of that is because I keep having to buy Widow's Wine. 
but e like I have gotten really lucky this this entire game, like with look at this, look at all those things right there. But even with uh with pack a punch too, like I got fireworks really quickly after I pack a punch the first time. So that was, was that a max ammo? That's a max ammo. I have to go get it. No, it doesn't look like it's a max ammo, right? Now it's double points. Okay. Oh, that's an insta kill. Look at me knife it on round forty, cause I'm a beast. Oh god, this could be really bad. I'll try to get out of this without taking a shot. Look at that. Look at me. Like, that was actually skill. This map is just easy, right? Like, who am I, who am I kidding? I should be able to kill them all, right? Like, if it hits them, that should be able to kill them. I'm really happy that insta-kill didn't go away right there. That would have been unfortunate. Oh man. That would have killed so many of them. I was trying to line that shot up with all those guys down there. I will, my goal is to pack a punch my thunder gun by the end of this, but I want to try to run out of ammo with it first. I just keep getting max ammos and stuff, and it's hard. I really keep getting max ammos. Like, obviously, I'm not complaining about it, because max ammos are amazing. That's literally the best thing in zombies, but they keep coming. They keep coming. I feel like I get a max ammo every, like, three rounds, and then I get a monkey round, and then I just get another max ammo from that. How many kills we had? 1,197. Nice, nice. Not bad at all. Is this the last of them? I feel like they'll, they'll still all be they'll spawning, but just in case. Alright, alright. They're still spawning. Round 40, they're still spawning here. Look at this. I might actually have to pack a bunch of my, my uh, thunder gun soon. Make it the Zeus cannon in a little bit. Because I only have eight shots left, but that could actually go for a while, honestly. Especially if we were, we were able to get a like clutch out of max ammo kind of soon, then I won't have to pack a punch it. But I will, I will. I'll keep using it. I won't use my Galil anymore until I have to pack a punch this thing. Because I just want to pack a punch it. You know why not? Unless that was a max ammo. Nope. All right. You know, let me hit the fire sale once. Should I guess a gun? Alright, it's going to be an HVK. That's a brecky. That's a brecky. I guess I'm not that much of a god. That SVG call is pretty cool, though. How many is that going to be able to kill? Not many. Actually, I killed a bunch. What am I saying? There's only two left. Is that the end of it? Nope, not the end of the round yet. That was actually really risky, then. I thought that was the end of the round. That's why I was shooting like that. There's still a bunch more spawning, though. The majority of the reason why I don't want to go too far is just because after a certain point, the rounds take forever. And I just don't really have much time. I had enough time to get to here. I figured I would. But look at that. Getting around 41 like a pro. It's not going to be a monkey round, is it? After this round, if I'm still alive, I will pack a bunch of my Thunder Gun. Look at this. Look at this beautiful Thunder Gun here. All right, still not a monkey round, so, so I'm not getting the max ammo. I don't want to waste my uh, Galil shots, just in case I run out of ammo with the with the thunder gun. This I just said I'm, I don't want to waste my Galil shots, and I shot into that horde down there. But just in case I run out of uh, thunder gun shots, because I'm gonna need something to kill him with. I still have the annihilator. Should I use that for a little while? Let's go. I haven't used this thing yet. See how many I can take down with this. <laughs> This thing recharges, right? So, like, I don't have to run out of ammo with it. This thing's fun. Is this even a one-shot anymore? It's not even a one-shot anymore. Wow. I thought this thing stayed, stayed a one-shot for a while, too, but apparently not. I feel like I didn't kill, like, any of those guys. That w Oh, my goodness. Did you see that one? That one landed all the way down there. Like, pretty much where I was pointing my crosshairs before. That one landed, like, right when I'm pointing my crosshairs, right there. Is pretty much where those zombies are coming from. That's where that one landed. Good lord. <clears throat> this spot would also be much harder if zombies can come from, like, up there. Or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, if they made a spawn up here. That would make this spot a lot more difficult. Or if they had, like, Nova Crawlers coming down or something, I could see that happening. But I guess that wouldn't really make too much sense. I just said I wasn't going to use my Galil anymore. That was my bad. Sorry about that. I'll use my thunder gun from here on out until I run out of ammo with it. Because then maybe I'll be able to pack a punch. 
I guess the next goal right now is 45. That'd be cool if I can get to around 45, because then I will beat my record. I will have beaten my record. I have to go back here. I can make it. Nice job. Look at me talking myself up. All right, how many how many we got here? I have a pretty decent horde here. I might be able to shoot a shoot a shot into them. Let's get it. <clears throat> I want to shoot another one off this direction because they freaking fly if you shoot them off in that direction. Let's get it. Let's keep going here. But shout out to Derpy Derp again. I just noticed he commented on my most recent video. My most recent video at the time of me recording this is, I think, Golden Gods Episode 6. So that also dates this video. <laughs> but I was actually, like, the reason why I wanted to, uh, I wanted to wait to do this, I wanted to wait to, uh, you know, play zombies like this, is because we got another max ammo. Look at this. But the reason why I wanted to wait to play zombies is because I wanted to wait for my Road to Commander to be over. Because then I'll, I was going to let zombies take over for my Call of Duty portion of the channel then. And I think I, you know, waited nicely. My, my Road to Commander just ended. So that's not bad. I'm going to throw another Gersh device. And then get this. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Should I slide into it and teleport somewhere? No, I don't want to. The Gersh device is so good. I forgot about how good this thing was. Let's keep going, though. We got the Thunder Gun. Is that another max ammo or something? That's a nuke. I actually go try to get that if I can. Make the round go a bit faster. Look at that. Look at all these guys dying on me. And I got a death machine. I said if I was still alive at the end of this round, I'd go pack a punch, right? So I guess I kind of have to. Even if I have a lot of ammo left, I'll go pack a punch my uh, Thunder Gun. I'll go do it if I can. If I can, if I can leave a zombie alive, I will. I think they're all still spawning like crazy though, so I gotta be I gotta be wary about using this thing. Man, my special weapon is back. That's not the last guy, is it? I think it actually might be the last guy. All right, this looks like it's the last guy, so let's go pack a punch the thunder gun. Let's get the Zeus cannon real quick. Might as well shoot quickly because why not? I'm gonna get rid of it anyway. I love this, the sound of this thing shooting. It's great. There we go. Let's pack a punch this bad boy. You can't pack a punch this thing twice, right? That would make no sense. Look at this Zeus cannon. Hey, you can't pack a punch it twice. Just making sure. There we go. We got fully pack a punched everything now. Look at this beauty over here. Should we kill him with the turret? Let's kill him with the turret. Go get him. Kill him. Wow, that takes a long time to kill them. Who the heck is Valone Beckham? I'm assuming that is uh, Thor got skills or Saucy Cage or whatever his name is. Shout out to that guy. He's a beast. Oh, it's monkey round. Maybe this Zeus cannon can actually kill them then. Well, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go towards Jug here. They're probably going to take Widow's Wine once more because they always do. All right. Maybe this maybe this is actually one shot. Let me let me test it. Let me test it because I'm gonna get a maximum for this obviously. Might as well test if it's a one-shot or not. There's a monkey coming down here. Is this going to be a one-shot? It's not a pack-a-punched thing. Oh, my God. I can't believe that's not actually a one-shot. That baffles me. Oh, they're taking quick revive. Hold on. I need to go to quick revive. I didn't know they were taking it. No! Get off! That dude just flew like crazy. That dude? What? That zombie. Monkey. What? There you go. We almost were able to get a perk for that one. Almost were able to get a perk for that one. That would have been nice. But again, I don't even know how much I would have wanted it. Because then if that happens again, if that, that uh, if another monkey round happens, of course, like it will obviously but if that happens and then you know i uh what am i what am i trying to say i am such a moron sometimes but the reason why i didn't want another perk is because if they were able to take one of my perks like widow's wine or jug or quick revive i wouldn't have been able to get it back so i'm actually kind of happy they didn't take a perk i don't think i'm going to get the perk if they do 
I don't think I'm going to. Because then if they end up taking Jug or Quick Revive, because they already took Jug on me once. So if they do it again, then I'm not able to get Jug unless I down myself. Which is definitely... Actually, it might be worth it for Jug, if I'm honest. Because I feel like I'd go down anyway. Let's use this thing again. Why not? Be fun. Be fun and interesting. I really don't even think that's killing them, right? Let's see. I'm at 1394. Vlone Brady and Vlone... Okay. That That is definitely Saucy Cage and his brother, I think. Because <laughs> they are... Oh my god. What the heck was that? That was a lot of drops. But because um, one of them is a uh, Giants fan and the other one's a Patriots fan. So that makes sense. We have three things going on right now. We get like a double points or something. We can have four things. You know, they commented in one of my videos once saying that they wanted to collab with me on some on some Black Ops 3. So that's pretty awesome if they actually want to do some, something with that. I don't know what they'd want to do, but shout out to them. They're cool people. They're cool people. Let's keep going here, though. I think we might actually be able to, you know, beat my highest round. It's 4.32 right now. Like I said, I want to try to stop at like 5 o'clock. So probably one more episode after this one will be the final one. I don't know how many rounds we got, so maybe I'm actually able to get to round 50 on this. That'd be pretty sweet. You can start this road to round 40 strong by going to round 50. Oh, that was risky. I gotta remember what round I'm on. And that I don't even think a full clip of this can kill a zombie anymore, to be honest. I feel like we're on that high of a round. I should probably get that. Man, I should have gotten that. That's okay. Let's reload this thing and then bring out the Zeus Cannon once more. This is a very solid game, though. I'm happy with how it's turning out. 43, not bad. Hopefully, there's a decent amount of people still watching here. I hope so. If not, it's fine. I love playing zombies. Zombies is like one of my favorite things to do in Call of Duty. But I, th I think my pal T. Henson will still be watching. If you are, man, shout out to you. Because you always watch all my stuff. One of my loyal subscribers. You know, I don't have many subs, guys. But there's a lot of people out there who are pretty loyal. Loyal to my channel. And I dig it. I dig it for sure. Thank you guys a lot. I Obviously, I appreciate that. We're nearing in on 200 subscribers, which is pretty sweet as well. I'll probably make a video commemorating that. Come on, fireworks, go off. There you go. That almost killed them all. Good try. Jeez, it takes like half a clip to kill a zombie straight to the head, I think. They're still all spotting, though, so I think it's actually going to take me a really long time to get to round 50. But it is definitely okay. The goal here is 40, like I've been saying a whole bunch. So I don't mind if I don't make it to 50. Especially in the time limit. If there was ever a time where I didn't have anything else to do all day, I would probably keep this going and actually see how far I can get. But I might actually have to down myself. Once I get to like 45, I would like... I'll probably finish one more episode of this, like I said. So whatever I get at the end of this next episode. This is also all assuming that I'm not going to go down within then. But it definitely could happen. The best part about all this, though, is that I still have two quick revives left. I think what's going to be the death of me, though, is running out of ammo more than anything. I mean, I still have a crap ton of shots left in my Galil. So I don't mind that, especially since I can shoot once and kill all of those guys. Oh, yeah, next time I shoot the Thunder Gun, I gotta shoot it off this way. I forgot. I'm gonna do that with these guys. I'm gonna try to hoard them all together and then shoot it off into the distance and see how far they go. Let's see how this goes here. Hold on. I thought I heard something that the M1911 was supposed to be back in zombies or something like that. I don't know, but that was a random thing to say, but let's see how far they go. Oh my, look at those guys. They hit that wall. They hit that wall. That's awesome. All right, round 44. I think this is my highest round on this entire game. So we tied it right here live for you guys. That's nice. But anyway, I'm going to conclude this episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching once again. Hopefully next episode, maybe we can get to round 50. I was going to say hopefully we can get to round 50. I hope we can. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys soon.